This is Jacob with Wholesale Septic Supply. After you've used a unit like this for a while, you might notice that it's not working properly. Usually that happens between like five and 10 years after this unit has been in operation. So particularly this unit is a linear diaphragm aerator. So there are components in here that'll wear out over time. If you ever go out to your aerobic treatment unit and you notice that you have a light on and your air compressor is not working, then usually there's like a diaphragm or something in here that's ruptured and there's a safety mechanism in here that prevents it from being um, turned back on. So even after you replace all those things and you plug it in, it might not come back on and you might be scratching your head as to why that is. So we're gonna tackle that issue today. So if you're scratching your head as to why your unit isn't coming on, it might be because one of these safety mechanisms is preventing the unit from coming on. So High Blow has gone through a couple different mechanisms for their safety systems. So you might have something like this on the newer unit that's a slide switch. So whenever the magnet moves too far to one side, this thing moves out of alignment. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's a little orange button thing here. And that if that's visible, then the unit's gonna be off. So if you wanna make it run again, you'll have to push that and you'll hear it click. I'll do it again. So once that's depressed and this is locked in place, then the unit will be able to come back on. Whereas some of their previous models will have a mechanism that looks like this. So there'll be a metal contact here and a metal contact here. There'll be a screw that's not on this unit because it's been removed, but it'll go through the back of this assembly and push these two metal parts together. And that will allow the unit to come on. But whenever the magnet moves too far to one side, this will come up and shear that screw and these, these metal pieces will come apart and the circuit will open and the unit turns off. So if you've put everything back together and you're wondering why it doesn't come on, it might be because of that slide switch or this safety screw assembly. But if you're still wondering, so what caused it in the first place, you might have something like this. So this is the diaphragm that a magnet will push on. So this will flex in and out to move the air. But the other job of this is to hold the magnet in place. So after a while, these will fatigue and they'll break. So like this one is clearly broken, but that means it's not gonna hold the magnet where it should be. So that means the magnet's gonna move too far to one side and that can cause damage inside of our unit. So a magnet like this will go through our diaphragm, but it's no longer constrained. So it's gonna be moving around much more than we want. High blow doesn't want this magnet to be damaging the other internal components. So they've added these things up top that will strike that safety screw or move the side switch out of alignment to turn the unit off before this can damage it. That way we can get in there and repair the diaphragms or replace them without uh, having to replace other components that might have needlessly been damaged. All right, so sometimes the Safety assembly inside of here will get damaged. Maybe some of the wires get damaged or this just becomes loose and doesn't actually depress that button anymore. So that way we'll go replace this. So if this doesn't work correctly, we'll just replace the whole, like this whole assembly. That way we don't have to replace the whole unit. We can replace just that part. But we wind up in a bind because these aren't super easy to remove because we'll have to solder in new wires. So we'll look at what we're gonna replace this assembly with. So if we look at this here, this would be the new part that we get from the factory or the manufacturer. So this is the assembly, but we'll notice these connections are already made for us. So there's already gonna be wires soldered in. So I just need to disconnect these wires that are already on the unit. So if we look back over here, we'll have this wire comes over here. So we'll unsolder that. This wire comes over here, so we'll unsolder that. Then we'll unscrew this, and we'll be able to take this unit off. Then we'll put this on and make those connections. So we'll look at this unit here. This wire was damaged, so we don't have that wire anymore. I haven't unscrewed these yet, but what we can do is look at how this wire was unsoldered. So there is that connection that's already made. We don't need to get rid of that. 
just because our new unit will already have those connections made for us. So we'll undo that wire and then we'll unscrew this if I can actually get this thing in there. So now that we got all those screws off and our wire is unsoldered, this will come up. This wire, I'll try to hold it on on there and we'll just get it around that. And now we can put our new, uh, our new assembly on there and we'll be able to solder it up. All right, so this is what it would look like when you put this new one on there. So you'll have this, the slide switch assembly in between those two electromagnets. You'll put all these screws back in there. These just aren't in our, these just aren't in all the way. And then we'll have this wire that's already soldered in from our new unit. And we'll solder that connection. And then we'll have this wire that'll come over here through this little channel. And then we'll solder this over there and then we'll be good to go. So now that you know that we have the slide switch assembly and the safety screw assembly, for whatever reason, you might want this one to be on that unit. So you might want to replace your slide switch with your uh, safety screw assembly or vice versa. So this is a unit that has the slide switch on there. So what you can do is once you have those things unsoldered and unscrewed, you can take this off. But thankfully, Hyblo designs these so that you can just put this one on there. So these, it's a pretty snug but see it goes on there your little the thing that rotates is in the correct position and then you would just solder the wires where you need to put them or in the reverse if you have one of the screw assemblies and you go well no I don't want that you'll take it out and then you'll put your new slide switch in and then you can interchange those you just need to then wire these uh, to the unit.